gentlemen, I hope everybody had a good first week. I felt like the uh, COVID exercise was pretty interesting. We created a model. Um, if you go back and type in that data, you can probably generate a more accurate model. So something to do if you have some time. We do need to get into a little bit more um, algebraic sort of exercises. So today we're gonna start off with uh, the law of sines, which is a pretty easy little proportion. I'm gonna try and do this um, pretty comparable to how we would normally do it in class. So I'll do a couple problems. I'm gonna do two of them with you. And then I'd like for you to pause it and try the next two on your own, and then you can sort of watch me go over them. After that, you're gonna have a short Khan Academy exercise, and for that exercise, I'm actually gonna give you your, your test points. We're not gonna be able to do tests sort of the old-fashioned way, so each week's exercise, you're gonna to have to get a 100% on it, will give you test points, and that will be how we sort of move forward because I can't give you, you know, one big test and it's going to be a little different. So here's what we'll do. We're going to start off with the law of sines. This is going to help us solve triangles that are not right triangles. So if you if you have a right triangle, you can just use regular sine, cosine, tangent. But if you don't have a right triangle, how are you going to solve the missing sides and angles? This is what we use the law of sines for. So the law of sines is a proportion. And it doesn't matter which two of these you use. So for example, you probably would say just the first two. You're not going to have an equation that has two equal signs. You might pick the first two. You might pick the second two. Or your last option, you might pick the first and the third. It depends what information you're given. But what the law of signs tells you is that there is a ratio between the angles, the signs of the angles, and then the side that is across from them. So first thing, you got to remember that if this is angle A, Across from angle A is little a, that's side A. And across from big B is side B, and across from big C is side C. So we have the big angle is gonna be the uppercase letter, and then the little side, the, the lowercase letter, is gonna be the side across from it. So you need to be able to start with that understanding. But after that, this is really just a lot of calculator work. You set up a proportion, and you do a little bit of manipulation, and, and you get your answer. It's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> So in this problem, first thing, when we say what information are you given? As we do more and more types of these problems, this becomes more important. For now, you're not going to really see why we care, but you'll eventually understand what I'm doing here. So firstly, let me explain what I'm saying. In this problem, we have an angle, and then we have the side between the two angles. So sometimes we would call this angle, side, angle. Angle, side, angle, because we have the side between two angles. So if I say what information are you given here, we're gonna say A, S, A, angle, side, angle. But really what you're looking for when you do law of sines, the big thing that you're looking for is you need to have the angle and the side that goes with it. You need to have one of these angle side pairs. It doesn't matter which one you have, but if you're gonna use law of sine, you have to have one angle side pair. So in this problem, you're like, well, I got an angle, but I don't have the side across from it. Well, I have an angle, but I don't have the side across from it. Well, I have a side, but I'm the, well, how am I supposed to do this problem in law of sines if I don't have an angle side pair? Here's what you gotta realize. We know a lot about triangles. So just because I didn't tell you this angle doesn't mean you can't figure it out. Here's one, two, three angles. You should remember the three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So if you see that that's not happening, or you have two of the angles, you really are, I'm really giving you all three of the angles. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure I got 180 minus 80 minus 34, and hey, look at that, this missing angle here, that's 66 degrees. So now I have an angle side pair. You'll see I have this angle side pair. I have the angle and the side across from me. That's what I need to set up my law of sines. So the way it works is you have the sine of the angle over the side. So I'm gonna say the sine of the angle, 66 over the side across from it, which is 16 equals, now what am I trying to find? If I'm trying to find little b, that's little b right there, then I'm gonna use this. So I'll say the sine of big B, which is 80 degrees over little b, which I don't know, that's b. Now this is a proportion. So to solve a proportion, we cross multiply. I'm gonna write all of the uh, um, algebra out and then we'll actually type it in the calculator to get the answer. So to solve this proportion, you would cross multiply. You would get 16 times the sine of 80 equals b times the sine of 66. So 16 times the sine of 80 equals b times the sine of 66. We're cross multiplying, and then to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is multi, or I'm sorry, divide both sides by the sine of 66. So if I want to find side b, I need to type that into my calculator. 16 times the sine of 80 divided by the sine of 66. 
So let's go ahead and do that now. And uh oh, where'd that go? There we go. So first thing, make sure that your calculator is in degrees. These are degrees, I'm in radians. So go to mode, come down here to degrees. Now we're in degrees, great. Okay, so we're gonna say 16 times the sine of 80 divided by the sine of 66. And I get 17.25. So side B would be 17.25. Now there's, I'm gonna completely solve this triangle just so you can see there's a couple little tricks you can use to make sure you're doing them right. If that's 17.25, this is the biggest angle, which means across from the biggest angle should be the biggest side. So something you can do here real quickly just to check, the biggest angle is across from the biggest side. I have the medium angle should be the medium side. So I don't know what this is gonna come out to, but I do know that it should be smaller than 16. So I'll do the same thing just to find C, just for posterity, we'll say the sine of 66 over 16. It doesn't matter which of these angle pairs you use. I could use that number, but this doesn't round. So sine of 66 over 16 equals, we're gonna say the sine of 34 over C. And then it, as you get better at this, you will just kind of type it in. You're like, all right, I need 16 times the sine of 34. And then I'm gonna divide by the sine of 66. And I get, 9.79, so this is 9.79. So just make sure the smallest side is across from the, uh, the smallest angles across from the smallest side. That's good, medium good, large good. So I feel pretty good about this. I, I think I did everything right. That's all you gotta do. You're just gonna create a proportion and then solve it. Let's try another one. So this one, I didn't give you the actual picture. So first thing we're gonna do is draw a picture and it doesn't matter if it's the scale, like I'm sure that these angles are totally bo uh, bogus. It doesn't matter at all. I'm just gonna label them how I label them. This is gonna be A, B, C, fine. Angle A, 22 degrees, eh, that's actually okay. Uh, angle B, 95 degrees, well, that's definitely a cube, but whatever. And then little a is across from that, so that would be little a right there. It asks me to find little c, so that's over here. And again, we're gonna figure out sort of what information are we given. Well, actually, no, angle, uh, side A is 420, so let's make that 420. Okay, so do I have an angle side pair? Yup, I do, great. What information would you say that I'm given? Well, I have an angle, and then I don't have this side, and I don't have that angle, well, I might have that angle. Angle, angle, side. So angle, angle, side would be the information I'm given. What I'm really looking for again though is do I have a side angle pair? Yep, I do. So how am I gonna find little c? Well, I have a side angle pair here, so I know I can say the sine of 22 degrees over 420, equals the sine of big C. Wait, I don't know big C. So, oh wait, okay. I have two angles. Yeah, I really have three. If you have two angles in a triangle, you really have all three. So we'll do minus 22, minus 95. That's not five, 95, and you get 63. So this is 63 degrees. Now I can say the sine is 63 over little c, which I don't know. Now again, cross multiply and divide. So you would get 420 times the sine of 63 equals C times the sine of 22. And if you divide both sides by the sine of 22, you get your uh, actual C value. So 420, nope, it always double clicks. It does that all the time, I don't know why. Times the sine of 63 over the sine of 22. And what do I get? 998.9. So C is 998.98. Now looking at that, you're like, hmm, that's a pretty big number. It's almost a thousand. Yeah, well, 420 is a pretty big number too, and that's the smallest. So if 22 degrees is the smallest angle, this is the smallest size. 95 degrees is the biggest, so that means this 998 should be the biggest side. But I don't need to find all three. I feel pretty good about it. That's the whole thing. You create a proportion, pretty much it's all calculator work. So here's what I want you to do. There's two problems here. Right now, I want you to hit pause, and I want you to try and do the problems. And after you've done the problems, then you hit resume, and you make sure that you did them right. Okay, so I'm gonna solve these two triangles, and you should already have them worked out by now. So here we go. Solve for r. This is big R, across from that is little r. So do I have a side angle pair? Yep, there's my side angle pair, that's what I'll start with. The sine of 21.3 over 2.9 equals 
the sine of, oh, I didn't figure out that angle, so I gotta figure that out first. We're gonna do 180 minus 21 point, oop, that doesn't work at all. Never mind. 180 minus 21.3 minus 44.5 is 114.2. So this is 114.2. I got little extra squigglies here. I'm not sure what's going on. Over uh, R. R is what I'm solving for. So I figured out the missing angle is 114.2 degrees. And now I'm going to set up my proportion. So the sine of 21 over 2.9, the sine of 114 over R. Got to cross multiply and divide. That's pretty easy to do. 2.9 times the sine of 114, whoa, 114.2 divided by the sine of 21.3. And I get 7.28. Okay, R equals 7.28. I got 7.28. That's across from the biggest angle. 21.3 is the smallest. So 2.9 to 7. Point, that seems reasonable. 7.28, that's my first one. Second one, I have to draw the triangle for this one. So let's draw a triangle. Again, it's not gonna be to scale, I just know it's not a right triangle. So I'll call this angle A, angle B, angle C. This is 50 degrees, angle B is 68 degrees, and little c is 230 degree, or 230 units. So the first thing I wanna do is figure out the missing angle. So again, I'll do 180 minus 50, so that's 130, minus 68, which is your 62. So this is 62 degrees. Once you have your picture, you have to identify your angle side pair. Got one. Okay, so I know both the angles and the sides across from it. The sine of 62 degrees over 230 is the sine of, what am I looking for? Little a, right here. So the sine of 50 over little a. You just make sure you have to pick the angle that's across from that side. Now, this is the calculator work, this is the easy part. 230, ooh, 230 times the sine of 50 divided by the sine of 62, and you get little a is 199.55. Little a is 199.55. I'm generally rounding to two decimal places, that's pretty good. So, if you feel pretty good about those, your homework and your assignment is to complete the Khan Academy exercise that's been assigned to you. It's four problems. If you get them all right, you get 100 on that, you get four test points. So good luck, and I hope to see you guys soon.